Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for May 6th, 2021. So let's see what we have going on for today. Okay, so we have... Coral, allow flow and synchronicity into your life. The number is 18, reduces to nine. So be done with the convolutedness, okay? <laughs> allow the flow and synchronicity to come on in. See, again, they're saying that the more we try to control things or we think, it's kind of, it's very egotistical to do this and we do it a lot, don't we? Where we think we know best. We think we know how things should look. We know how to move forward. And then nothing works out and then we whine about it and go, man, why did it happen like that? Because we're not listening to the universe. We're not allowing the information to come through. And they're even saying the information comes through the DNA structure. It comes through the cells. Uh, those are the little portals, I guess. Who knew? Okay. <laughs> and so the way that to do this is to be open. And the way to be open, we have to start letting go of some of those dramas. We have to let go of those distractions. We have to come within. This is what we talk about all the time, right? So yes, there are going to be annoyances. Yes, there are going to be things that you have to handle or figure out. But as you go about figuring out the annoyances in your life, or maybe some of you, you have like a major thing that you're trying to work on, ask yourself, where in this situation am I being controlled? And what I mean by that is your thoughts are being controlled. Great way of looking at this. Go buy a car. Don't really go buy a car today. I mean, unless you're actually wanting to buy a car. But the game, oh, or any kind of salesman, love you salesman, but really, come on. That game, that bounce back and forth, the negotiation. Some people thrive on that. I personally can't stand it. Um, <laughs> but, you know, where in here are they trying to get you to believe something? Or in advertising, okay? Again, all love to advertising people, but they're trying to get you to believe something, to buy something, yes? It is a construct in this human world. It does not mean that salespeople are evil. Okay, I know lots of salespeople. But when we manipulate energy, there's going to be a price to pay for that. So ask yourself, where am I being controlled? Where, maybe in extreme cases, you are being manipulated. You need to have this. Social media is highly manipulative. And unfortunately, those are the people that, you know, pull ahead. They get the biggest voice. Where can you not participate in that? Now, this is, again, I'm a YouTuber. I have to do marketing, you know, and stuff like that, whatever, digital marketing, so that you can be found in the sea of videos, right? It's part of it. But I'm talking about, like, in these bigger cases where, you know, you keep getting this ad that pops up. Uh, women, you'll especially understand this. You need to have this skincare. You need to have this makeup. Your face is beautiful as it is. Wear the makeup as artistic expression or don't wear it. It's, it's up to you. You don't need to be fed this. I'm going to call it a lie. You need this. No, you don't. You have to buy this car today. No, you don't. There are 20 other car dealerships right in the same block. Okay. You don't have to give in. To what you're being pressured to believe. Now, if you want to take it outside of the example of like, you know, advertising and salesmanship and all that, so, <laughs> there's going to be so many salespeople like, I'm not bad. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> no, you, you know the people I'm talking about, okay? It's just an example. But if you want to step outside of that, where are you being manipulated to take an action because it's what is cool right now? Yeah, I said cool. Right? Because that's what they're doing. They're trying to make it cool, right? So everybody gets the societal pressure, like peer pressure, to go off and do something that is against your morals or against your values. Or how, how has uh, even like, for example, sexuality, how has it been cheapened? How has the messaging, I'm telling you, there has been messaging out there uh, that has hit mostly like my generation and younger uh, that is stealing your energy there's an idea around that all right and we call it freedom yeah you should have freedom around that most certainly but freedom to express in a way that still helps you um, and whoever you engage with maintain your power 
ma maintain your manifestation power, okay? That is the fastest way to be fed upon. Why do you think people are so drained after they get dumped? These are things that we need to start looking at and being aware of and not putting this like, you know, moral high standard and here, here's the standard of morals and you have to live like this or else you're going to hell or whatever. We're not talking that, but understanding your sovereignty and understanding your sacredness and only partaking and interacting with others who find themselves to be sacred as well, right? People are going to be on their healing path. People are exploring. People are learning from one another. That's all good. There's nothing wrong with that. But eventually, allow yourself that space to come to that realization that you are a divine being. We all are. But once you remember it, don't be giving your energy away, right? It, it, it's that sort of thing. Um, so... I think that's about it <laughs> for today. Leave your comments down below about how your day is going. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.